Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul and this is Tech and Travel. So today I'm going to be doing my 8th month burning test on my 65 inch BA OLED from LG and unfortunately I got a bit of bad news um, but also I have got some good news. So let's start off on a positive and start with that good news. Right, so I've been asking you guys over the last few weeks, um, if I could get hold of another TV, what TV would you guys like to see me unbox and do some more tests on? Um, you guys are real helpful, left some comments on that. And uh, I'm fortunate enough that uh, I've been able to strike up a deal with the guys at Box to uh, supply me with another TV to test out for you guys. And not only one TV, but two TVs, yeah. Next month I've got two TVs coming where uh, I'll be, like I said, unboxing them both, testing them out, putting them up on the wall. And they're two TVs that I feel will be uh, two of the sort of best TVs that you will be able to buy around the Black Friday sort of, uh, sort of season. And uh, yeah, hopefully if you're in the market for a, a decent TV, one of these TVs might tick that box for you. So uh, if you're not already subscribed, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button for those videos. And also, um, I've managed to bag a little something else to go along with those TVs. Something that uh, in one of the videos that you guys were uh, going on about and saying that I should get. And again, thanks to the guys at Box, they've sorted me out. So hopefully that uh, thing will be making an appearance. Won't be uh, saying exactly what the TVs are and that thing. That would be uh, to come in another video. So yeah, hopefully you guys will uh, look forward to that as much as I'm looking forward to uh, doing the videos. So... Let's uh, unfortunately now get to the other part of the video where it is the, uh, the downside. So uh, let's get to that right now. Right, so now moving on to the main part of the video, which is the burning test. So if you're uh, not a subscriber to the channel, you might not have seen these tests before. So I'll quickly just run through it now what I do. So every month since I've purchased this TV, I have done a burning and vertical banding test to highlight any vertical banding issues or any burning that might have occurred over time and do it month to month will show the uh, progression of that um, unfortunately I didn't do one last month um, again subscribers to the channel will know that I had a C9 OLED I was testing out so the TV was off the wall for a little while um, but I've taken all this into account when calculating the hours of the TV um, which I will explain in a bit um, so what I would do is just run through the usage of the TV as well, um, you know, sort of what, what situations we use it in. And then I will do the test and we will look to see if there is any problems. So let's crack on with that test right now. Right, so the first thing I think we do is uh, grab the remote control, do a long press on the uh, settings button there. And... Uh, yeah, have a look at my picture settings um, because obviously that has a uh, bearing on how the screen will wear uh, with the brightness and colour and such like. So yeah, I've got energy saving off, um, picture settings here. So we, I use the standard user setting, OLED light at 89, contrast 95, brightness 50, sharpness 40, colour 58. Um, Let's go down to picture options. There we go. So we've got the black level there on auto, true motion clear. Um, what else we got here? That's the one I've just been on. And well, advanced control, sorry. Let's have a look at that. So yeah, there we go. That's what I've, the uh, settings I've got on there. And yeah, at the moment, usage wise, I am up to approximately uh, 2,800 hours um, on this panel. Um, like I said, so we're at eight months now. And as I explained earlier, yes, you know, I, I missed out last month because I was using the uh, C9. But, you know, totaling up from last time I was using the TV and the time that I've been using it since. Yeah, we're up to about 2,800 hours. Usage wise, now um, been using it for a lot more gaming and uh, 
my son's been playing a lot of Minecraft and stuff. And if I just quickly show you on this channel here, this is why I've got the uh, kids programs on. Um, my daughter likes to watch a lot of uh, sort of cartoons and stuff. And we have this logo here, this Nick Jr. one. Now she will sit here and watch this for hours on end. Now I know I've done a trick showing you guys where you can like zoom in and sort of crop all that out, crop that lot out. But um, I don't do that, I sort of keep it fair when it comes to these sort of burning tests and that. So I'll be highlighting the sort of this area, you know, having a good look at it in more detail. And also where my son's been playing Minecraft quite a bit. Again, along here, there's sort of normally a panel of stuff there. And also up in this top left-hand corner, um, just move this off here. So up here, normally, again, your daughter watches a lot of CBBs and there's logos up there. So again, another area I will be sort of uh, concentrating on for uh, any burning in uh, that area there. So uh, anyway, let's... Uh, crack on and uh, start the test. Right, so let's uh, fire up YouTube for this test. So I've got YouTube as a shortcut on this uh, remote here. And if you wanna know how to do this, go and watch my uh, tips and tricks video. Um, right, so you have to excuse if any of the uh, colors and that look a bit off or anything like that. It's only purely down to the, the camera that I'm using there. I'm just using a mobile phone and uh, yeah, so here we are then. Um, got YouTube app fired up. And uh, what I think I'll do is uh, first we'll start off with the uh, the grayscale one. So we'll start off with a 5% grayscale. Have a look at that and uh, see what the uh, panel's looking like with that. Right, so uh, there we go. Not looking uh, too bad. Again, you can see like a little dot up there that will go in a few seconds that's perfectly normally that's just because of what i've had up on the screen beforehand um yeah bit abandoned i'll tell you what this uh lower lights right down here so uh, i've got me lights uh all kept connected up with a tv and that so let's do that with voice command turn off lounge lights and hopefully yep there we go they're all off and uh take that off yeah and that's uh not too bad at all actually i think that's actually improved a bit um i know when we got it back out of the box um for when it was sort of uh packed away because we had the uh the c9 we were testing when i first put it back up we did have quite a bad line i noticed um i think it might have been this one here um, but it seems to have faded quite a bit. I've not done any sort of manual refreshes or anything. So, uh, yeah, that's positive. Let's just go up to the 15% uh, grayscale now and uh, have a look at that. 15% grayscale. Let's back this out a bit. Let's uh, search for that now. Obviously, this should be better, I'd like to think. There we go, 15% grayscale. Let's go in tighter. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, again, I just want to highlight that the camera does emphasize any issues, um, even more so when it's dark and uh, looking through it. What I see with my own eyes um, isn't as bad as what actually comes across on camera. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that at the moment. Let's uh, now move on to the, uh, the color tests. And let's just fire this up. Now, what this will do now is rotate through um, different colors. And hopefully, if there's any burning, it will show up. And what I will do, once it's gone through once, I'm going to uh, stop on some solid colors. And we'll have a closer look in more detail. But as, uh, as it is standing back here now, uh, you know, I can't see anything obvious coming up. So let's get it back to the white. I oh know we've got a yellow there. So let's rotate that round. And we get it up to a sort of white color and stop it. Is that white or is that gray? That's a bit gray that. 
Yeah, that's pretty white. Right, let's have a, a closer look in. Um, so as you can see there, just prove that I'm still uh, on the same panel there. <laughs> right, let's put this remote down. So yeah, looking up this top left down corner, that all looks fine. Moving across and yeah, it all looks, hold on. Hello, we have a problem. What, uh, is that a mark on it? No, looks like we've got a couple, something. And that ain't dirt, that is actually some dodgy pixels by the look of it. Now that definitely wasn't there last time. So yeah, we have an issue. Let's see if I can just zoom in a bit more for you guys. Excuse me a sec while I try now. Yeah, oh my god. Mm, that is not a good. Um yeah, that looks pretty uh prominent like that. Sorry about this, I've got it zoomed in here. So I'll pull it back out a bit. So yeah, you can see those pixels that are out. What a bummer. Right. Um, well, I wasn't expecting that. So, uh, well, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, to be honest. Right, let's crack on at the moment. Have a look around the rest of the panel, hopefully. It'll all be good. Um, is that anything? Oh, that's a bit of dirt on the screen now. So, right, this is where that other logo was. Oh, sorry about that. The uh, TV just timed out there and went into the uh, screensaver mode. Um, so, yeah, carrying on along the bottom. Um, all looks good along there and up the side. So let's move on to the uh, like another colour. I'm gonna have another look at those pixels again and see what they're like with different colours. So we'll stop that. Oh, we catch blue rain next time. Missed it there. There we go. Right on a green. So starting at the top left. Now that all looks good there. Moving across. Oh, they look even more. Um, obvious on the green yeah forget about if you can see any weird patches going on that's just the camera sort of uh producing that but yeah not good so moving down the right hand side and that all looks clear there and along the bottom edge all looks good and the left hand edge yeah Centre of panel looks fine. I can't see any other pixels there that are out or any other or any burning, not any other burning, shall I say? Right, let's go on to a red. It's a nice deep red. So starting top left again. All looks good. Moving along top. Yeah, again you can see those pixels there. Don't know if that's and that's come across on camera. It's a bit hard to focus, to be honest. Yeah, there we go, showing up a bit more there. So let's pull that back out. So yeah, they do seem to be there under all colors at the moment. And the right hand side looks fine. And the bottom edge all looks good. And the centre and left hand side, yeah, all looks clean to me. So we'll have a look on a what should we do now? Wait for that blue to come round again, I think. So yeah, bit of a bummer about that. Was not expecting that at all. Um I don't know what I do at the moment. Um, not really, so I've not really thought about it. So yeah, on the blue, all looking good. On there, again, 
see these pixels there that are out. Right hand side looks good. Yeah, nothing there where that logo was. All along the bottom looks good. Yeah, all looks fine. So screen burn wise, panel looks perfectly clear. Unfortunately, you know, we're a, a couple of pixels down, which yeah, is a bit of a nightmare. Um, I think what I'll probably do, if I'm honest, now I've got a warranty with this TV. Um, let me just put the lights on a minute. Now I have got a warranty with this TV for five years anyway. Um, so the panel should be covered for that, not a problem. Um, I think what I'll do is just continue on using the TV as it is at the moment. Um, so I can continue doing these tests because if I've got the get the panel or the TV changed, that's going to be the end of this. Um, so I think for now, I'll stick up with those pixels, um, with them being dead like that, or stuck, whatever. I think, I'm guessing they're dead because, yeah, yeah. Bummer, I can't believe that, what an nightmare. No, it's not, it might seem a bit, sort of petty sort of thing because it's only a few pixels but still you know it's not a cheap tv and uh you know you want it to be perfect don't you so yeah i think what i'll do for now i'll stick with this tv and uh, so i can carry on with these tests see if it, you know we get any more pixels that die or anything like that you know it doesn't make really much difference if i you know get it repaired in a few months time sort of thing i'll probably get it repaired now I think i'll probably do it in the new year or something like that and uh so at least then i can sort of near enough to do tw get sort of 12 months of uh, screen burn tests out of this TV before I then get that panel changed. And uh, cause obviously it's gonna be back to square one. So uh, yeah, that's where we stand with it at the moment. So there you go then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. And if you found it useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Please don't be giving it a thumbs down because of the issue. Like I said, you know, please give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future, including those uh, TV unboxings. Um, also, just a quick mention, um, I'm going to be uploading some more travel videos uh, soon. Um, don't worry, I'll still be continuing with the, the TV stuff or the tech sort of stuff. Just I've got a bit of a backlog of travel sort of videos that... Um, I've been meaning to put up, I've not put up yet, and we are off on our travels again very soon. Uh, so we're maybe putting up some from that uh, trip away. So if that's something you guys would like to see, then please feel free to join me. So uh, anyway, thanks very much for joining me on this video today, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.